My book is here, whipping debt's ass. Are you broke? Do you feel broke? The age that you are and where you are in life. Do it align with your bank account. Are you robbing Peter, Paul, John, and the entire Bible just to live? In my book, Whipping Death's Ass, let me tell y'all. I specifically outlined the details of what I went through, how I was $50,000 in debt and I gave myself 12 months, one year y'all, and in 11 months I was able to get out of $50,000 in debt and that debt was only three cars and three credit cards. Those six items was killing us. Whipping Debt's Ass is a quick read book. You can find it on Amazon for you Kindle readers. It's available on Kindle and my website, StanellaMoneyTherapist.com. The link to purchase the book is in a bio. Budget, save, invest, and live. Six years ago, my wife took nothing but an ideal and faith and turned it into a multi-million dollar business with multiple streams of income. As a woman possessed, she overcame all obstacles and created multiple streams of wealth that has impacted our family for generations to come. From mental health professional, to therapist, to author, to CEO, she is a constant reminder of the grace of God over her life. Get ready to listen to and take notes from Stanel, the money therapist, as she schools you on money, entrepreneurship, and life skills that was not taught. No more excuses. Wake up! Thank you, Tony, for that introduction. Welcome back to No More Excuses, Wake Up, where we talk about money, entrepreneurship, and life skills that was not taught. I am your host, Danell Myers, also known as Danell the Money Therapist. This week, we are discussing money, and we are back talking about my book, Whipping Debt's Ass. Yes! I am going through the chapters in the book. And the next chapter is Humble Beginnings. And I kind of really explained the Humble Beginnings in the introduction. Just to give a little bit more details with my book, Whipping Debt's Ass, it wasn't easy. Y'all know this, right? It's not easy to be broke. But when you are broke, you actually learn the fundamentals. When you get money, you, and, and maybe everybody can't apply this, but because we we didn't have money once a time ago when Tony and I got together we we struggled we worked but we struggled then when the businesses started to pop off you know and and God started to really just show me through the dream and I did everything just step by step by step one door closed another door opened it really did make me humble and even with writing this book my humble beginnings really started from not having as much to when I had it to be grateful. But when you splurge, what is your gratitude? And that's what I was saying to myself. How am I being grateful because I'm splurging? And so like I said before in the other video that I'm gonna give this shit up because if I'm not grateful and I'm splurging and I don't have the money that I should have at the end, I need to give it up because I'm just not a good steward. And if I'm not a good steward, I'm just gonna go out there and just work. Because I'm going to let you know, it's hard to have your own. It's hard to be an entrepreneur. It's hard. It's difficult because you work, you don't have no set hours. When that stuff start coming in this head and that start triggering in this brain, that's when you start creating and doing and building. And that's what happens. And I remember not sleeping and two o'clock in the morning crying. And I'm like, what is going on? And that's where the blessings and a second touch and joy was built out of these tears. Because I'm like, why am I doing this? But I'm doing it because... Joy is an after school program and it's helping children in the community in New Jersey. A Second Touch is a case management agency and it's helping families through the Division of Developmental Disability, but those are disabled. That's why I'm doing this. So my humble beginnings is from me recognizing it. And then when I recognize it, I had to be able to make a change because being an owner, being an executive, and I say that in my book, being an executive and an owner of a nonprofit and a for-profit, they're two different things 
and it's not easy. It is hard. But I couldn't do that and be fake, right? And be broke. I couldn't do that. I wrote this chapter, Humble Beginnings, because I want you all to understand where I came from and where I'm at. And that you too can do the same thing. But you have to be a good steward with what you have. And I was not a good steward. When I was in church, if that's what you want to call a good steward, I was paying my tithes. But I personally don't believe in tithes anyway. And that's a whole different story. Not to be biblical, but I was a good steward in that. But I wasn't a good steward in my finances. Because I'll go and pay my tithes and only have $53. And I remember it to the T to feed my kids for a Sunday dinner. Now, how is that being a good steward? If I'm struggling, I can't feed my kids because I'm doing other things with the money. That's not a good steward. So my humble beginnings really come from me really thinking. Instead of treating my business, I'm emotional. Instead of treating my business like I say in here, like an ATM, I said, in order to act upon my passion, I knew I had to learn how to oversee my money. As a nonprofit business, dreams grew into reality. I started making more money than I ever had before. Then I hit rock bottom. I was treating my business like my own personal ATM. And that's what you see. And that's what you see when people get money, you know, ball players and all of that. They're like, oh my God. It's true. And I know we'd be sitting there like, how they do that? But it's true. If you don't have no guidance, you act like a whole fool. And let me tell you, I don't even know what I did. I don't know. I know I went to New York and we did this and ain't and, and hotels and no substance. So for about two years, I was acting real stupid. No substance. It wasn't, I wasn't even investing at the time. I didn't have any other real estate other than the real estate that I had, which is the one home. It was stupid. It was stupid. And when you see, you're like, oh my gosh, I got this. I'm so humble and I'm so grateful because I wouldn't be able to bless my staff if the vessel wasn't pure, if the vessel wasn't humble, if the vessel wasn't clean because I wouldn't have anything. I would have been bankrupt. I wouldn't be able to just give them. This Christmas, I was able to write them a check for their rent for the month of December or their mortgage. Now, those that were married, I paid their portion. But I wouldn't have been able to do that. Write a $1,000 check or a $1,500 check to my staff. Each, the vessel, have to be clean. And if I was, I wouldn't have been able to do that when I first started because I didn't have nothing left over. And so I, they, they wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to have a retirement plan for that business if it wasn't for the vessel. And, and just, you know, me just being grateful and me being humble. And I, the gratitude that I have is all in this book. A whipping that says. So in the beginning of the book, I go into details. I want to first start off and let you get to know Stanel, to know who I am before I go into explaining the house because I get into the house and I get into how, what deep. You're not going to have and you shouldn't have any unanswered questions. And if you do have any unanswered questions after reading my book, then that's where you can go to Contact at StanettaMoneyTherapist.com and you can email me. My Instagram, you can message me at StanettaMoneyTherapist. Facebook, same thing, at Stanetta Money Therapist. I will be able to answer your question if I can. I wanted to make sure that you understood who I was. Because who I was, was I was broke, but I was a business owner. I was broke, but I was over here sitting up in all these, in these meetings. And when I say I was broke, meaning that... The money that was coming in at the time, all the, the payroll was paid. If I was, and I think at the time I wasn't even netting 20, I probably was netting 10. That was a lot. What? I got $10,000 at the end of the month. <laughs> what? Broke as heck. Broke as heck. And a lot of times we see people driving around in these cars broke as hell. And they're driving around in these particular cars, living in these households, and they're either house poor, they're car poor. They don't have investments because they're paying someone else. And I'm going to tell you, anytime you pay someone else, you're being pimped. Because I'm being pimped. I'm being pimped from the mortgage, from living in my dream home. I'm being pimped and I'm tired of being pimped. I don't like paying bills. Like I know we have to pay bills, but I don't like it. I don't like paying a mortgage. My life and what I, the way I see it, where we are all in control of our own lives. And the way I see it, when it comes to money, it depends on you. For me and my household, we're not going to have a mortgage because we're not going to be pimped. 
and I don't teach my children that. I just don't like it. I don't like every 30 days I got to pay somebody. I like as a landlord, every 30 days I get paid. And I'm not a landlord right now because I sold everything in New Jersey. And now I'm starting over in Florida and other states as well because I just, I don't like that. And then once you figure out what you like and what you don't like, it will be easier for you to understand what it is your end game and where you want to be. Because at my age at 47, I know my end game at 50, where, what I want at 50. My ages, they have goals that are attached to them. And if you don't have a goal attached to your age, then you're just living and you're just watching people on YouTube and you just listen to people on podcasts and you just watching Instagram, but you just living. And what are you doing? Why are we playing? I wanted to make sure that with this second chapter that you understood that my humble beginnings and how I was really stupid and how I was really really stupid with money and once you understand me and I pour my heart in this chapter then you'll be able to understand why I did what I did I want you to understand why I titled this book whipping that ass because I really wanted you to feel how I wanted to up that debt. I was done. I can't do it. I hate that, y'all. I hate it. And until you get to where you hate it, you're going to keep accruing it. Don't think that you have to have a credit card. Don't think you have to have a card note. But I teach you all in this book of whipping that sad. I just want you to be able to truly understand where I was and where I am. And everything that I did to get there, that's my goal. You're going to learn that too. No more excuses. Wake up. Thank you for listening to No More Excuses. Wake up. If you love the show, please subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes or Spotify. To learn more about me and my different agencies and what I do, go to StanelleMyersEnterprises.com. While you're there... Check out Money Therapy Institute and watch my video where you will see me doing a little acting, showing you how I fought and kicked down closed doors. You can also click on Stanetta Money Therapist and get my free budget spreadsheet. And of course, you can email me at contact at StanettaMoneyTherapist.com. I'm also on social media on Facebook at Stanetta Money Therapist and Instagram at Stanel, the money therapist. No more excuses. Y'all know what y'all need to do. Wake up. Hey, smart people. I have a three-month one-on-one personal or business coaching program. As you all know, I paid off $50,000 in debt in one year. I will teach you how I stayed out of debt using my burner method and personal life spreadsheet I created to fit my lifestyle and keep me on track. You will learn how to understand your money communication style using my financial treatment plan. Also, if you own a small business and you feel stuck with cash flow or feel disorganized, I teach business owners and self-employed entrepreneurs such as yourself to financially maximize your money, build wealth using your business income, and retire working on the business while your business continues to run, such as myself. You can book a call with me. The link is in the show notes.